Alright, T here, part two of the Letting Go acoustic version, the Trip Fuse. Uh, so, uh, basically, this is going to start on B, the 14th fret of your A string for a B. Uh, this is like the same line in the other video I did. If you watch that, there'll be a link above here or below or something uh, to that, which is on the electric, and I did it on the low E string. As if it was in the key of E. It's really in B, so on the real record, I use a guitar in low tuning, and B standard tuning, which I'm going to do a video on that too. Uh, but on the acoustic version, I just play it here, and instead of playing the low B string like I did in the real version, or the E string like I do in the lesson I just did, I am going to play clicks instead. So I'm going to go, these are all 16th notes, two clicks down on that B, two more clicks up on the B, two more clicks. So I have... So the first click ends up with a down, the second click ends up with an up. Alright, make sense? Sixteenth notes. One E and a, two E and a. And then I'm going to go A, twelfth fret, back to the B, to the A. Click again, sorry, I just played open A. And then F sharp on the ninth fret, A on the twelfth, back to A, click. And I'm trying to alternate the whole thing. Make sense? And then I go and play the same rhythm but on the A. So the two clicks, A, two clicks, A, two clicks. This time I'm going to go 5th fret to ninth fret back and then click. D, F sharp, D, click. Oops, I think I heard an open A in there. Don't worry about it too much. The A doesn't sound bad if, if you hit the A instead of the click. The A sounds pretty cool. I guess I prefer the click if it's all said and done, but the, either way. So, notice it, it's quite fast. It becomes about alternate picking, you know, getting your alternate pick hand up, which is just practice, right? Practice is slow. And before you know it, it'll be super fast. Okay, then we come do the A one again. But this time we're going to go 7 on the E to the A, back to 7. Click. And then... A, the 12th, to the E7, two clicks. So this one went, I kind of flipped the pattern. And then the last one, to the G on the 10th fret, same rhythm again. And then we're going to go E, E on the 7th, two E's, F sharp with the 3rd finger on the 9th, G with the pinky on the 10th, back to F sharp to E. Uh, eighth, uh, sixteenth notes, one E and a, and then two eighth notes. I guess it's B three and four though, really. Three E and a, four and. Well, hopefully that clears that up. And then the breakdown part that I ended the last video lesson with is this thing. Uh, sorry. So basically in the real video again, or in the real song, it's the low B string that I'm playing that on, but for us, we're going to use the clickies again. Uh, same rhythm that we played in the, in the other part of the, uh, the main riff. We're going to do two clicks down on that B. That's actually the same B that we were playing just a, just a moment ago, but um, I, uh, because it's, it's getting harder to go up this way for the B D, I mean you could totally do it, but it's getting up there a bit. I've moved it to the D string, but that's the exact same B. So we're there on the ninth fret of the D string. So anyway, I have the rhythm that we played before. Two clicks, note on the down, two clicks, note with the up, two clicks. Uh, this time we repeat it though, it goes longer. It ends up going a measure and a half, but the rhythm stays the same. Two clicks, note, two clicks, note, two clicks, note, two clicks, note, then two clicks at the end. That ends up being one measure. Should have 16 notes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Did I do that right? Oh, two B's, not two clicks at the end, sorry. Anyway, the main point of this is basically two clicks and note, two clicks and note, and you'll end up doing that 
one, two, three, four times, and then in the fifth one it's two clicks, two notes. And then you'll do it for half that time, so just two beats. And then the A, B, A, click B, D, B, which is nine, twelve, nine. So the A, B, A was seven, nine, seven. B, D, B is nine, twelve, nine. So we have And the open D sounds pretty cool on that part too. So you could play with the open D. I believe in the video I did clickies though. But I probably wasn't overly concerned with whether that D was ringing. So, you know, I'm just more concerned with trying to, you know, stay in the time and stay in the groove and whatever seems to be working at the moment with whatever's happening with, with the bass and other percussion. Hey, you can see Shiloh in the corner there of the video. See your nose? Boop, boop, right there, Shiloh. You know what's funny about this? I think the last time I wore this shirt in a video, Shiloh was in the video too, and we were down at Deer Lake. So heart of gold. If you want to learn a little... Oh, I almost sang it, then I'll have a copyright issue. Um, okay, so anyway, that's it. I think that's all the parts, uh, except for the solo. Uh, which I might do in a separate lesson if enough people show interest in it. Uh, but it's always good to use your ear, you know, watch the video. It's not a really hard solo. It's in the key of B minor slash D, two sharps, you know, so any of your D or D scales might, you know, get you through that. Uh, and I think that's all the parts of the song that I can think of. We did the intro, we did the verse, we did the chorus, we did the little line, which that little line... That also ends the song, and then we did the breakdown, and I think that's, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So have fun. I'm going to do another video on the, um, the B standard, just to show anybody who's interested in, in tuning your guitar really low for the real tune. And as always, uh, thanks for watching these videos, and uh, it's fun to be helping people play guitar, and um, you know, if you want to show your support. Uh, the best things you can do, obviously, you know, buy the record or the, or, you know, call it a record. <laughs> buy the downloads, though, or, um, you know, a shirt or something, and we'll mail it to you. That's always a great way, or the physical CDs. Um, or another way, if you know if you don't have the money or whatever to uh, do that or to help out in that way, is sharing it with your friends. You know, that's huge. Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, email, whatever, you know, whatever you're using, like, just... Uh, yeah, share the links, you know, share the letting go acoustic version, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, it's very appreciated. And uh, of course, rate it, favorite it, subscribe if you haven't. Yeah. All right, that's it. Have fun.